So the next test is the Q angle. So this is to measure the quadriceps pull against the uh, petalot tendon. So this is the angle between the uh, petalot tendon over the uh, quadriceps uh, angle, especially the rectus femoris. So for this what you have to do is you have to draw a petalot line which is to identify the midpoint of petla. Relax well, relax your leg please. Yeah. So you find the uh, petla and you mark a midpoint of the petla. Then you also try to find the insertion of petla tendon. So ask the person to contract the quadriceps and palpate the distal end where it attaches to the anterior tubercle. Relax well. Again. Okay. So you mark one more point. And this line is the petla tendon line. Palpate the ASIS. And then you should draw a line which joins the ASIS and the uh, midpoint of petla. The line joining the ASIS and the midpoint of petla is called to be the rectus femoris line. So this angulation is considered to be the Q angle. So the fulcrum is the midpoint of petla. Join the line which uh, directly connects from midpoint of petla to ASIS. And you also check the line from tubercle, anterior tubercle, tubercle to the midpoint. And this angle is considered to be the um, quadriceps angle. So the quadriceps angle is from 9 degree to 13 degrees. This is the normal quadriceps angle. So, but there are conditions where the quadriceps angle can be increased or decreased. So, for example, if you have an anteroversion of the femur, the neck of femur, where there is a medial rotation of tibia, and lat lateral torsion of the tibia, where the tibia is laterally rotated, then what happens is that the quadriceps angle is increased. And this will cause a lateral tracking of petla. And this will give a petlofemoral syndrome. There is one more clinical Im implication is if there is a retroversion of the uh, fe neck of femur where there is a lateral rotation of the femur and there is medial torsion of the tibia, what happens is that the petlar uh, quadriceps angle is decreased and you will be having a medial petlar pain, pain and this is again a petlofemoral syndrome. So you will be having a pain and the medial tracking of petlar will be evident and you will have a pain along the medial aspect of the petlar. So the quadriceps angle is very important to determine where the tracking of petal is as well.